King Ghidorah, the iconic three-headed monster, has been a fearsome enemy in the Godzilla franchise since its inception. From the past to the present, Ghidorah has left an indelible mark as one of the most formidable adversaries ever faced by Godzilla and other titans. First introduced in the 1964 film, Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, King Ghidorah quickly established himself as a force to be reckoned with. Hailing from outer space, this ancient dragon-like creature possesses immense size, towering over other kaiju, and wields devastating power with his gravity beams and powerful wings. With three menacing heads and a serpentine body, Ghidorah struck fear into the hearts of both humans and titans alike. Throughout the years, Ghidorah has made several memorable appearances, each time reaffirming his status as a formidable opponent. In the Showa era of Godzilla films, he returned in movies such as, Invasion of Astro Monster, and Destroy All Monsters, wreaking havoc and challenging Godzilla and his allies with his incredible strength and destructive capabilities. In the Heisei era, Ghidorah's origins were reimagined in the film, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Presented as a genetically engineered monster created by time travelers, this version of Ghidorah possessed enhanced abilities, including the ability to regenerate and control gravity. Once again, he proved to be a significant threat, pushing Godzilla to his limits. More recently, in the MonsterVerse, King Ghidorah made a spectacular return in Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Presented as an ancient superorganism awakened from his slumber, this incarnation of Ghidorah showcased a terrifying blend of raw power, intelligence, and an otherworldly presence. His ability to control storms and unleash devastating blasts of energy made him a formidable adversary for Godzilla and the other titans vying for dominance. King Ghidorah's reputation as a fearsome enemy has been solidified over the years, as he continues to challenge the mightiest titans and wreak havoc on the world. His immense power, iconic design, and relentless pursuit of destruction have made him a fan favorite and a symbol of the ultimate adversary. From the past to the present, King Ghidorah stands as an enduring embodiment of the sheer terror and awe-inspiring might that the Godzilla franchise has to offer. But is he really the only dragon on town? Or is there another new dragon character just lurking or just even taking a very deep slumber in the chasms of the hollow earth? Hi, Tim Ustrinitis here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we delve into an intriguing theory surrounding King Ghidorah and the possibility of another dragon lurking within the depths of the hollow earth. While King Ghidorah has long been regarded as the ultimate dragon-like adversary, the vastness and mysteries of the monsterverse leave room for the existence of undiscovered creatures. The concept of the hollow earth, introduced in the monsterverse, presents an expansive and unexplored realm beneath the surface of the earth. This ancient ecosystem, filled with hidden wonders and powerful creatures, hints at the potential existence of another dragon-like titan, perhaps even more formidable than King Ghidorah. Within the lore of the monsterverse, it is conceivable that a slumbering dragon lies dormant in the depths of the hollow earth, awaiting its awakening. This dragon could possess unique abilities, different from those of King Ghidorah, and may have a direct connection to the origin of the Titans or the ancient civilizations that once thrived in this subterranean realm. Imagine the awe-inspiring moment when this mysterious dragon finally emerges from the depths, revealing itself to the Titans and the world. Its arrival would undoubtedly send shockwaves throughout the monsterverse, shifting the balance of power and presenting a new, fearsome challenge for Godzilla and his allies. This new dragon's inclusion could open up a plethora of storytelling possibilities, exploring the mythology and ancient history of the monsterverse. It could also lead to epic clashes between the two mighty dragons, with King Ghidorah facing a rival that matches or even surpasses his own power and abilities. Moreover, the introduction of a new dragon character would reinvigorate fan excitement and ignite debates and discussions within the community. Fans would eagerly speculate about the origin, abilities, and potential alliances or conflicts involving this hidden titan. The prospect of witnessing a colossal clash between King Ghidorah and another dragon would create anticipation for future MonsterVerse films. While this theory remains speculative, 
the vastness of the monsterverse and its potential for surprises and hidden secrets make it entirely plausible. The existence of another dragon-like titan within the depths of the Hollow Earth would add a new layer of intrigue, suspense, and epicness to the franchise. As fans eagerly await the continuation of the monsterverse, the prospect of a new dragon emerging to challenge the dominance of King Ghidorah offers a tantalizing possibility. It would expand the rich mythology of the monsterverse and present thrilling new narratives and battles, captivating audiences and reigniting their love for these colossal creatures. The inclusion of multiple heads on this new dragon would amplify its menace and destructive capabilities to unprecedented levels. Drawing inspiration from the mythological creature Yamada no Orochi, each head could possess its own distinct powers and abilities, making the dragon an even more formidable opponent. With multiple heads, this dragon would have the advantage of attacking from multiple angles simultaneously, making it exceptionally difficult for its adversaries to defend themselves. Each head could unleash devastating elemental breath attacks or unique energy-based abilities, adding layers of complexity and chaos to its assaults. Moreover, the coordination and strategic abilities of this dragon would be heightened by its multiple heads. Each head could act independently, allowing it to engage multiple opponents or execute complex attack patterns. The dragon's heads could work in unison, combining their individual strengths to overwhelm even the most powerful of adversaries. The fearsome nature of a multi-headed dragon like Yamada no Orochi would strike terror into the hearts of both titans and humans alike. Its sheer size and power, combined with its deadly arsenal of attacks, would make it a nearly unstoppable force. The devastation left in its wake would be catastrophic, as entire cities could be reduced to ruins by the relentless assault of its multiple heads. Furthermore, the inclusion of a multi-headed dragon with ties to Yamada no Orochi would tap into the rich mythology of Japanese folklore and further enrich the MonsterVerse universe. It would evoke a sense of awe and dread, as viewers recognize the legendary origins of this new titan and the significance of its presence. The introduction of such a dangerous and fearsome dragon with multiple heads would raise the stakes for the MonsterVerse and its inhabitants. It would require the combined efforts of titans like Godzilla and their allies to mount a defense against this formidable foe. The battle between this new dragon and King Ghidorah would be an epic clash of colossal proportions, capturing the imagination and adrenaline of audiences. The inclusion of a new dragon with multiple heads, inspired by the legendary Yamada no Orochi, would elevate the danger and fearsomeness within the monsterverse. Its array of devastating attacks, strategic coordination, and ties to mythological folklore would make it an unparalleled adversary. The clash between this new dragon and other titans would be a spectacle of epic proportions, pushing the boundaries of destruction and showcasing the true power of these awe-inspiring creatures. If you enjoyed this video or have suggestions for movies, shows, or other fictional topics you would like to see covered, please leave a comment below. Your support through likes, subscriptions, and engagement with this channel is greatly appreciated and helps me continue creating content for you. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, this is Timostrinitas and I will see you in the next one. Peace.